Ladies and gentlemen, one of America's clowns, Red Skelton. The Red Skelton Show. With guest star Mike Cotton. Robin Wilson. David Rose and his orchestra, Bob Humperdoo. crowd here in the studio tonight it seems bigger than usual audiences i guess everything's increasing now the population and most of all the fbi is going to they say that it's increased five percent in the last year if it keeps up they're going to <laughs> <laughs> you, of course you know the kids in beverly hills they're a little bit different they need to take money from them <laughs> <laughs> he was given to a burglar a guy that robs Zha Zha Zha. he says lay down on the floor and keep your mouth shut well, they're doing the story of his life on Mission Impossible. A lot of the former hoodlums have gone into legitimate... They've set up offices on Wall Street, you know. <laughs> now, listen carefully. Now, the bank is on the corner of 5th and 9th Street. Now, there's a candy store on... Now, there's an awful lot of heavy traffic. Do you get the picture? Yeah, boy. We're going to rob it. We're going to buy it. Then we're going to rob it. <laughs> I don't know however you feel about it, but I, I have to feel sorry for the criminal. Because when his time finally comes, you... Five of. Don't lose heart, my boy. Uh, the, the worst part is the waiting. But it's time. I wish it was me instead of you. <laughs> the crime's everywhere, even among the birds and bees. Did you hear the horrible thing that happened to my cousin, Polly the Parrot? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh a lot now, because I don't think the finish is too big. <laughs> I didn't hear what happened to your cousin Polly the parrot. Says, well, she asked for a plain cracker and she got assaulted. <laughs> um, did you hear what happened to old Charlie? Charlie the goose came along and stole his wife. He says, no. Old Charlie just sits and hides. Says, really depressed. And she says, no, he thinks he's bringing her back. <laughs> You know, speaking of crimes, speaking of crimes, the greatest criminals and the greatest thieves in the world are mice. So with that in mind, I would like to do a pantomime. Hollywood. Well, here is little Robin Wilson to show you one of the ways that it can happen. Yes, Paul. Yes? Karamisha, you could be the queen of all Lusitania. No, Paul. I'm wrong. Or never be wrong. Out. Oh. You're a genius, JB. You're not. My initials are ML. <laughs> hey. 
Queen of Lusitania, because... Or whether I'm wrong, whether I find a place in this world or merely belong. I want to live, and I won't give up this dream of life that keeps me alive. I want to be me, I want to be what I am. That world of success, it's waiting for me. it alone that's how it must be be free You know, Oscar, I have just a great invention on how to... ...on your invention to take over the world. <laughs> and this is the result of my first uh, experience. I released 22 rabbits, and I injected them with my special formula. And what were the results? There were an attack. They all attacked Hugh Hefner Chicago Playboy. <laughs> Detective from playing Mannix. Yeah, well, I... Maybe you could teach me some of those tricks about being a detective. The first thing you should know, I would say, is frisking. Frisking? Yeah. Oh. You see, suppose you grab a murder suspect. Well, the first thing you've got to find out is whether he's armed. Oh. So to make sure, I'll show you how it's done. All right. <laughs> well, you just killed my bird. <laughs> job is the stakeout. The stakeout. Yeah. Now, that's where you keep a suspect under 24 hours surveillance. Oh. They say from a building uh, across the way. Come over here and, and let me show you how that is. All right. Oh, by the way, a raincoat, a oh, trench rain coat. A trench coat. Yeah, Oops, Fine, that'll there. go with my mouth. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> now. <laughs> Just step over here and take these binoculars. Take the what? Uh, binoculars. <laughs> Just uh, binoculars. And he's a straight man. He's a straight man. Binoculars. That's like a guy saying, look at that old dog wagger over there. Meaning dowager. <laughs> I should have left you alone with your binoculars. Oh, what's, what's happening? That? What's happening? Oh, she's now putting on the... Oh, how about that? Mmm, that's... <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> you think this is easy? These... What's she doing now? Oh, now, oh, she's in the up and fluffy in there. Yeah. Oh, she is now putting on wearing a nightgown. Let me take a look at that. A thing. nightgown. I'll just take over here. Yeah, how yeah. about that, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah she's undressing. That's yeah, she's fine. getting into a flimsy negligee. Flimsy. She's crawling into bed. Now she's... Let's see what the suspect is doing. Yeah. <laughs> Casper, if you something. care for any of these things, just write in. We'll send them to you. <laughs> hey, that's easy. That's easy to handle. Sure. Yeah. <sighs> now, now, I think I'm ready to catch my first criminal. Uh, like the day before he goes to testify before the grand jury. Oh, oh, I could do that with my eyes closed. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. No, I... <laughs> Relax, will you? Look, I'll be right down the hall. And that private eye you hired to protect you will be right over. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I 
wasn't through nothing. <laughs> what kind of fool am I? Who's <laughs> that? That's what kind of fool I am. Good Boy. heavens! Yeah. Christ, my dialing finger there. Are you the... Are you the problem I'm a detective during a total eclipse? Oh? I started at a, a, a correspondence school. Yeah. yeah down yeah. on the farm. And I'm ready now. I'm ready. I'm oh, ready. Oh, brother. We're related? <laughs> now, I learned a lot in that school. First is to keep away from the window. <laughs> I, I'm telling you for the last time. I, I don't want any more of this. You know? nope. Did I hear somebody knock? I heard yes, I heard somebody knock. <laughs> Here, I'll do it. I'll do it if you don't mind here. Boom. I, I am sorry. Thank you, you came up here. How'd you know that was going to happen? <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Well, he's still ticking. Yes, he. <laughs> Fellow. I with a golf ball, and then he was playing tennis, and he hit dinosaur. Anything. She's not hiding anything. Not through Pasadena, you know. <laughs> I still think all the Frisker. I don't think you better. <laughs> no, I don't either. I, I frisk her in the last 17 years here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, things. <laughs> well, I'm a private eye. The good thing I'm a lip reader, I'd have never heard what she did. <laughs> I tell you, you're, I, 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 Step back. Let me see. <laughs> I'm the hotel manager. Will you hold down the noise? Do. Okay, so don't hold down the noise. No, no, no. Say, I would like to speak to the manager. He's on his way up here? Yeah? <laughs> what did you... <laughs> You're early tonight, you'll only have to wash your face now. <laughs> My blue. <laughs> this Don't tell me! Go ahead, stop with me, boy. There you are. Here, take a hold. Make a wish. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those are my pants, my suit. I wanted these to be nice for the trial. Really? Well, you better get them pressed. <laughs> Here, would you bring me back in a half hour, sir? Don't tell me. Hmm? <laughs> Why don't we get... Oh, I gotta take you across the street now to the courthouse. Good. I'll get your jacket for you. <laughs> oh, but... oh, he's laying down there on the curb. Now you're really gonna get in trouble. That's a no parking zone. Here he is again, Red Skelton. I would like to thank our sponsors and staff, and especially you ladies and gentlemen, for allowing me to be a part of your evening. So until next week, I'll say goodbye for now. <laughs>